Hey guys, it's Julie from Julie's Designs. This is going to be a quick video, kind of a DIY, kind of inspirational, kind of think out of the box kind of video. I'm going to show you ways to think about things in a different way to create either a sentimental piece of artwork or just something cool to put on the wall. I was inspired by, of course, something from a laundry room, still working on it, um, something that I want to put in there. I had this piece of slate that I bought at an estate sale. So in the next town, we have a huge plantation. And a while back, they had an estate sale. And of course, I went. And I bought this piece of, it was slate floor tile. I can't remember what I paid for it. It was either 5 or $10. I just bought one piece. And my plan was always to write something on it. But I couldn't figure out, I couldn't commit to anything. I couldn't figure out what to put on it. And... I thought it was a perfect color for my laundry room, so I just kind of stuck it in there after I got the shelf up. I knew where I wanted to put it and kept brainstorming about what I wanted to write on it. Then I finally decided I'm not going to write anything on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a picture of the plantation on it. And I just thought that would be a great idea. It would be a memory of this plantation. And something different. Now, the memory I'm probably going to have when I see this is that I can't believe I didn't buy all the old wooden doors there. Oh my god, the sale was so amazing, but I wasn't reselling at the volume that I am now. If I would go to that back if I could go back to that estate sale, I would figure out a way to bring all those doors home with me. <gasps> they were amazing. Anyway, went off on a tangent there. What I did was I just looked up a picture on the internet of the plantation and then I printed it out. Let me show you. I made, I'm going to show you how to make these rough edges to make it look like a print. And then I just wrote Maywood Plantation at the bottom. I just used these clips that you can get from the Dollar Tree and I hot glued them on here. Now I just put a little bit of hot glue because... If I ever do decide to write some on it, I, I want the option to be able to take that off where they won't be permanent and mess up the slate. So just a little bit of hot glue and clipped it on and it's going to sit up on the shelf and I know I'm going to have stuff on the bottom. So I want it up high. I think it is perfect. I love it. So I'm going to show you real quick how I made those rough edges. I used a paint pad. You can get this, I'm sure, at Walmart, Home Depot, anywhere. And the reason I use this is because I like the thick textured paper. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a nice little texture to it. And to get the rough edges, what you do is you take a straight edge ruler, a cork back metal ruler. If you don't have one of these, you should get one. I use it all the time. It's the best ruler. And... You're going to, you can measure it if you want. I just eyeballed it. So I needed to get it down to eight and a half by 11 anyway to fit in my printer. So I just cut it down to where it was smaller. You want to just eyeball it or you can measure it if you want to make sure it's straight. And then you just pull it up. You hold your ruler down, you pull the paper up and it gives you that super cool old looking edge. That's all I did to make that. Put it in the printer, printed it out, put these uh, two pieces of paper down, and I have the most amazing piece of artwork that's going in my laundry room. Next, I'm going to show you an old baking pan. So, I don't know where this came from. I'm sure a garage sale or something. It's just nice, rusty, crusty, just the way that I like it. And I did put a clear coat over it. I like the Rust-Oleum uh, matte finish clear coat. Spray that on it to, you know, seal in all this rusty goldness. And I wrote something on it. Because I'm going to be selling this, I felt like I needed to write something on it so people would know what to do with it. And all I did was I drilled some holes in the, each side and put some strings through with these little clips. And now... You can clip on family recipes, pictures, shopping lists, whatever. It would just be a really cool piece of art hanging in your house. So say 
you can find one at a garage sale. Let's say you have grandma's cookie pan that you just can't get rid of and you remember her making cookies in this pan and you, you know, it's all rusty and crusty and you, you can't use it, but you can't get rid of it. I mean, why not make it an amazing piece of art that you can put up on your wall and remember grandma's cookies? And you could even just put one of those clips and put a picture of her. I mean, think of it as a picture frame, you know, just, just think about stuff like that. Or say you have, we like our cast iron down in the South. So say you have grandma's cast iron pot and you know, it's not one you're really going to use. You can hang it like this, put a clip on it, put a little picture of her and you cooking or put one of her recipes. I mean, it would just make a really cool piece of art. And then this one behind me, I wanted to show y'all. This is something I get asked about a lot I have hanging in my house. And it's just this water print that I had made, but instead of framing it, I just put it on a whiteboard that I painted and then just put a clip at the top and the bottom to hold it in there. And I put it, it's actually not hanging up. I have it on the easel on my entertainment center. Oh, am I gonna get it, better to get it back? So it's just something a little bit different and I think this looks way cooler than a frame. If you are inspired, please hit the notification button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos.